Caribbean Connections TV. Hey, Caribbean Connection TV viewers. Hi, it's your girl, Paradise. And I've been getting a lot of emails, tons and tons of emails from you guys inquiring about Karn 98.7. Yes, Karn is going to be on the air soon. Aren't you excited? But first, we need some help from you. Yes, our listeners. We need your help to make this a reality. So Fitzroy Gordon and his team has worked many years trying to bring us our first Black and Caribbean station. A station that highlights our unique and colorful cultures. But he needs our help now, guys. You need to go to Corn and fill out a form letting the CRTC know that we want our voices heard. Yes, we want our soca back. <laughs> we want our R&B, our gospel. We want our spoken words, our reggae, and our news from the Caribbean. Yes, we want to be heard. We want a station that we can tune into and connect with our people. My friends, it is time to let your voices be heard. Go to Corn and fill out the form, letting the CRTC know that we, the Black Caribbean community, want a station that we can turn into 24 hours a day and connect with our culture. It is time. Stop the whining. <laughs> we shall get our soca back, our reggae, our R&B. Yes, my friends, you need to go to Corn and fill out the form. This is your time to help. This is your time to let your voices be heard. They, ladies and gentlemen, realize that the black and Caribbean population need their very own radio station. So they said, yes, it is time. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We honor you today. We come together as a corporate body of believers, unified in your Son. We acknowledge you and thank you for bringing us this far. We could not have gotten this far without your divine intervention. Open the doors that were once shut. We ask for your continued wisdom, knowledge, understanding as we endeavor to take car 98.7 FM live. Across the airways of the greater Toronto area and beyond. In Jesus' name, Amen. the station that we were playing their music. Finally, they have a radio station to play their music. Gospel, reggae, soca, R&B. Finally, yes, music we were playing. Bob Marley will be on. Yes, Sparrow will be on. And we'll have music also about Jesus Christ and Him crucified. All right, amen. So Thank you so much for your support. Thank you, Paradise. Okay. Why do you think it took the Conservative Party, the Honorable Prime Minister, yourself, to come along for the black community to have their own radio station? Well, I think we just listened to what the community was saying. You know, um, the, the, the folks have been fighting for car and know that it will give a voice to the community. It'll, it'll give hope to young people. It'll give an opportunity to get some popular music on there, but also some really hopeful messages. And I just thought, that's exactly what we need. We got some, we got some challenges in the GTA. This is a, this is about hope and, and, and pride in the community. And and I just kept going back to um, 
Prime Minister and our other ministers, and they agreed. They said this is something we have to do. Uh, there's still a lot of technical hurdles to overcome, but we believe um, in the project, and, and we, we hope it will succeed all the way. Well, thank you again for your support. Now, one more thing. Would you be listening? Oh, absolutely. I'm a big music fan. I got pretty broad interests. Absolutely. Yeah, you bet. What's your favorite, Calypso, or Reggae? Or? I, I got to say uh, the R&B. R&B. Oh. Good choice. <laughs> all right. All right. The main force that made all this happen, Fitzroy Gordon, congratulations on your hard work and dedication. Thank you very much. And um, we keep meeting like this, you know, <laughs> but it's for a good cause. Yeah. You know, today is a very good day, a very proud day for me. And, uh, you know, to have our first ever black and Caribbean radio station in Canada. My heart is saying, wow, I tell you, it, it's been a great, great, great day. And I'm looking forward to um, what is coming next. Okay. Well, I know it hasn't been an easy struggle, about 11 years. Yep. Okay, so um, at, what, at some point, did you feel like throwing in the towel to giving up? I never felt like giving up. No, not me. I'm not a giving up person. If I want it, I'm going to get it. And I only go after good things, positive things. I know it's good for my community. And once it's, it's not only for me. It's for our children and their children. It's a legacy. It's about giving the Caribbean population something that they will have forever. And if it takes every ounce of blood in my body, I'm going to do it. I'll die doing it, but I will never give up. Never. I'm just moving forward in faith that everything will work accordingly. It will, it will, it will. And you have faith. That's all you need. We've been waiting for. It is what is needed. And in fact, um, it will be the black community speaking to the black community, black and Caribbean community. So it's radio for the people by the people. The very beginning with Karn. Okay. What was the struggle like to get to this day? Because it's been what? About 11 years? Did you ever think this day would come? You have to keep hoping. Open. And I'm a person who never, never really give up. Right. And I knew that at some point they will have to listen. You know, so we're going to offer them rhythm. Good rhythm. Calypso, reggae, soca, R&B. And, and a mixture of talk. So it is going to be a clear alternative to what's being offered now and a clear and a better choice. So fact, what kind of um, impact do you think corn will have on the Caribbean and the African community? Oh, significant impact because there isn't a single medium where you can get 24-7 news, cultural information, music, sports. There isn't a single 24-7 station that you can tune in. So you don't have to be flipping all over the dial anymore. So that's a very important impact. It will become the central point to reach the community. And that's very important for them. I believe the community has been waiting for a long time for its own 24-hour radio station. You didn't think it was possible that we ever get there? And I said when Barack Obama was elected president of the United States of America, I said, wow, if America could elect Barack Obama, then Khan could have its radio station now. And right then and there, I said, yes, it is going to happen. We are not daughters, but there are a lot of people who feel that, you know, it would be um, almost impossible. I'm not one of those. And I think it's going to be uh, very positive on our community, for our community. It's going, to, it's going to help our young people, older people, all of us, because for the first time we're going to have our music, our sports, our talk shows, our news, and whatever else. First time on radio in this country, 24 hours a day. Wonderful. You're listening to CARM 98.7 on your FM dial. Voice of the community where you get music, news, news, and reviews. So keep the dial touch because this is the voice of radio. This is FM 98.7, and we are moving to a different rhythm. You're listening to Car 98.7. My name is Alan Jones, rocking to the bones, y'all.